in the video for today i'm going to speak to you about what you should do if you forget your phone pattern lock this tip is not just going to help you unlock your phone without the pattern but also going to help you save your data from being lost Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you're not, this is definitely going to cheer you up because I do understand the fact that how frustrating it could be if you have your phone in front of you, but you cannot unlock it because you have forgotten the pattern. It is frustrating, right? Now, normally what we would do is get online to Google or Bing or YouTube or wherever to search for a tutorial that helps us to unlock our phone without the pattern. That's pretty normal. It happens. We are humans. We look for solutions, right? But let me tell you this, that most or all of those tutorials wouldn't work for you. Number one, they are unethical. And number two, they are going to give you an error and following which you're going to get frustrated. So instead of following unethical methods to you know, unlock your phone, in this case, what I would suggest is get to your service center for your phone brand. These guys are just going to unlock your phone and even save your data. So recently what happened was one of my brother-in-law, he forgot his phone pattern. Unfortunately, I mean, he just changed his pattern because uh, his son was maybe fiddling with his phone too much. So he called me up and I started doing a research online on how could we get this fixed so that he could access his phone because he had forgotten his pattern. So I came across a lot of uh, videos and suggestions on blogs and stuff like that telling you what to do. But none of those methods actually worked. Let me tell you this. Okay, so what we did was called up customer support directly for his phone company. And they told us to get to the local service center for the phone. So the next day itself, we went to the local service center and we told them the issue. Now in the service center, they are not going to you know, help you directly to unlock any phone. It has to be yours. So my brother-in-law had to provide two valid IDs of his, the bill. They verified that. They checked the phone and yes, they confirmed that the phone is in his name. And then they went ahead and took at least like, I would say one or one and a half hour or two hours to unlock the phone and also not delete the data, fortunately. So I hope this helps and I hope you're able to unlock your phone with this suggestion. If you need my assistance, I'm always there to back you up. Just send me an email or post a comment below. Give my video a thumbs up. Take care, my friend.